1987 was the beginning of a new era for cancer diagnostics. It was 7 p.m. Tom Grogan, a dedicated pathologist, was heading for his car after an exhausting day. Suddenly, a voice startled him from the darkness. Where are you going? A woman's voice demanded. His assistant, Catherine, had caught him leaving work. It's seven o'clock, he said. I'm going home for dinner. No, you're not, she argued. I promised Mrs. Smith that her test results would be ready in the morning. Every time Catherine collected a tissue biopsy for Tom, she learned the patient's name. Tom turned around and went back inside for another three hours, reading every detail the tissue stain revealed. Early the next morning, the results were delivered to the patient's oncologist, who immediately phoned Tom. This is fantastic, he shouted into the phone. I want you to do this for every one of my patients. Tom reluctantly declined and hung up the phone to find Catherine glaring at him. You said no, she pointed out. No matter how much I want to, he said sadly, I can't give every patient answers this quickly. Without hesitation, Catherine shot back, then build something that can. That moment began a quest to improve the practice of medicine. Tom Grogan built the first automated tissue biopsy stainer, creating a new standard of quality and reliability. The company he founded to support his mission to improve patients' lives went on to introduce the only fully automated system for h &E, with individual slide staining for each patient's biopsy because 80% of tissue-based diagnostic decisions are based on h &E testing alone. Dinner can wait. Patients can't. We will not rest until we can enable the same standard of care for every patient, in every hospital, in every city, in every country of the world. Because every patient deserves the gift of hope.